Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to do a quick video, or as quick as I can, on viral YouTube views, how to win on YouTube, uh, a story of somebody winning, how they've got there, uh, and how the real growth lives in those massive view videos. Now, I'm not going to clickbait you and tell you how to do a massive view video, but I'm going to go through somebody who's winning, somebody who's winning big time, and... Um, it's made me think about my channel. It's made me think what I need to do and stop playing around. This may be the last YouTube video I do about how to do YouTube videos because it's not working for me on my channel. So the person I'm going to talk about is the one and only Rick Shields in the golfing industry. And he's an absolute titan. Recently gone... Uh, um, 1.3 million subscribers, the first golf YouTuber to go over a million subscribers. Um, and I want to talk about his growth versus the other top 20 golfing YouTubers, things that have happened, things that he's been accused of, and things that I see as to why his channel is winning and winning big on YouTube versus the others. So let me, let me first say how I just started noticing this. I've always had my eye on golf youtubers youtubers in general if you go to my home page i'm always watching people why are they getting loads of views i've been watching a lot of chess videos <laughs> uh i've started watching people racing plastic cars but look at the views 117,000 marble racers i also like these um these videos um i'm getting a lot of lego stuff at the minute as well these videos it's not going to show me any is it where it shows um, different size models, all these price comparisons videos, where they grow, they they say this is versus this, and this is versus. They did like the Star Wars. I've actually watched one today, which was the Star Wars ships, all in sizes, so you can see, um, kind of all that sort of stuff. So I mean, it, you know, top ten Lego Star Wars. No, that's not it. I can't. It's not going to show any now, is it? Sod's law. But anyway. I mean, I'm always interested. I'm interested in what what's getting views. Who's who's doing what? How are they winning? Why are their channels growing? Why are their channels growing bigger than others? And of course, the golfing YouTubers. I, I know a few of them, and I'm interested in their niche. Even though I've I've dabbled in it, but it's not something I want to get involved in. But I've seen it, right? So anyway, over the last day or so, I did. Um, I did. It, I, I was interested in these race these race videos as well where you do some data and it goes up in a bar chart and they race so i created this one uh, over on flourish it's a nice nice website for it and this is this is golfing youtubers subscriber gain month by month right so this is you know october i actually missed out february so you can see the ones that are gaining subscribers obviously rick shields is out and uh, and home and hose on all of them but then you see danny Maud coming through in april Ian, then in May, uh, Rick jumps up. June, July, Rick jumps out to massive growth. Dwarfs the other guys. And um, GM Golf is currently on a charge. And as we stand in September last month, these are the guys, Danny Maud and um, GM Golf Garrett. 34,000 Garrett got last month subscribers. Rick Shields got 70. Right, so double, double it. And then the others are following behind. So then also, I created this. This is the growth over the last three years. I've only got the data for the last three years. And it's interesting, the, the, the channels in the top 20 that have started from nothing, that have grown into big channels, over 100,000. But look, here goes Rick. October 2018 really starts to see his channel take off, right? So why is this happening? Why is, why is that? Then May 2019 up. He becomes the number one golf YouTuber. And then later in the year, he get, he jumps out of his home and hose. And there's a few movers, but no major movers like Rick Shields, right? So then I created this quick video for um, golf mates, for Liam. I didn't create it for him. I just said, oh, this is interesting. Uh, where did it go? It's in my desktop, I think. Here we go. So I then created this video, right? So Liam's about to go to 100,000. So again, over the course of the time, here's how Liam then jumped up and jumped out to what will be 100,000. So I created that graph 
And then I thought, well, I'll put all that data that I've got together. I've got all these 20. I'll put them into this, this same bar, this line graph. And that's what we're going to talk about, right? So we're going to talk about things that I can see, things that I can't, and, and things that I see moving forward. So back in um, November 2017, Rick Shields was just, he'd just overtaken Mark Crossfield. Mark Crossfield was the original golf YouTuber. Uh, Rick just crossed over and went number two in the world of golfing YouTube, right? So as we roll through the year, you'll see all these other top, this is basically the top 20 golf YouTubers. And I'm going to roll them through to the end of December. So, that, so we're going to go through to a, a full year. So in that year, we can see a few of them coming on the map. But the general growth is only one person really, really stands out that's going upwards, right? That is, that has got a trend line going up. Everybody else's is pretty flat. I mean, they're all steady growth, 160,000. Steady growth again. And... Uh, Mark Crossfield's going up slightly, but not a lot. And uh, Rick Shields jumps, right, from around 240 to 420. Nearly doubles his subscribers. Me and my golf go up as well. Number one YouTubers at the time. They they have got some growth as well. They've got, you know, what's that, 100,000, 200, 100,000 maybe? Um, but the real jump is Rick Shields. So I want to look back two or three years and say, why has this started happening? Why? Does Rick Shields make a move and the other ones are just, they're not flatlining, they're just showing steady growth, steady annual growth uh, or monthly growth. Why is Rick Shields' channel jumping? And it's hard to go back two or three years and view it, but if you come to his channel and go videos most popular, we're going to be looking for videos that are two or three years old. Look at this one. Stop slice. This is four years ago, right? 1.5 million views. 2016. Right, if we went back to 2016, you would see slow growth. In fact, let's do it. Let's go to um, let's go to the newest and then scroll back two or three years. Right now, those people coming, let's go here first, jumping about a bit, but it'll, it'll, it'll all make sense eventually. If we go to Social Blade, uh, Vic Shields. Right, 1,811 videos. So the first shout out is 1,811 videos, right? So 1,800. When we go to most popular of his 1,800, and these stats have jumped up in the, in the last um, few months because of his popularity, because he's gone over um, a million views. But I did a video and I couldn't find it. About a year ago, there was only 69. Oh, I went through all the top golf YouTubers. There was only 69 um, videos with more than a million views in the golfing niche. I went through all the top 50, I think, golf YouTubers and went to their um, viral videos, more than a million views. And you can see here, the six in a group. Rick now has got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Nearly, well, six rows um, plus another four here. So really seven rows. Nearly 35, 34, 35 videos. They've got more than a million views, right? And we're going to see three years ago, the complete driver, three years ago. Here we go. October the 9th, 2017. So this is when we started seeing, right? November, taking off. Um... Four years ago, we're looking for really two years ago. Here we go, 1.3 million views. October the 4th, 2018, right? October 2018, middle, the middle of this raise here. Any more two years ago? Um, this one, 1.3 million. October the 20th, 2018, right? So we had two viral videos within the space of about a week, right? Um, three golf shots two years ago, October the 4th. So all of a sudden in October, there's, there's three videos that we've seen that have now got over a, two, a million views. They might not have had a million views then. I cannot tunnel into when they got their views. Uh, here's another one, look. What's the date on this one? 
May the 14th, right? So May the 14th, how to hit your golf wedges. Got nearly 2 million views now. May the 14th. May, here. Look, here. So it's not a massive thing to say a viral video will get you loads of subscribers. But how do we get to viral videos? So we know 1,800 videos though, right? 1,800 of which all of them are not viral videos. And if I go back here... If we go to Rick's channel, let's go back to that two year. Let's see what the other videos were doing at the time, right? So was it two years ago? It'd be really cool if if um, if YouTube showed the dates instead of just saying two years ago, right? So you can see you can see the numbers around two years ago. Let's try and find that um, uh, nine hundred ninety eight thousand. Where's the million view view views? A millions, million. Yeah, 3.9, dude, perfect. Oh, let's have a look at this video, right? So his most popular video, September the 10th, 2017. So that's probably kicked off this spike. If we go back a, year, a month or two, it's probably, he's underneath Mark Crossfield. Viral video, right? But look at the, look at the other stats around it. 98,000, um, 52, 59. 64, 23,000. So these it is, you know, a million views. Um, three years ago, yes, we're going to come back a bit, don't we? Uh, 66, 40, 63, hunt, you know, loads and loads of golf videos that didn't go viral, right? Brilliant views still. I mean, anybody would be happy with 40,000 views. I'm happy with 1,000 views on any of my videos. But it's all golf. Everything's golf. Golf, 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 right? Loads of videos going out at the same time. Same time every week, structured video, structured thumbnails, tinkering with the channel, hoping one video hits. Here we go, one million. One million, 1998. What date's this one? March the 24th, 2018, right? So we're starting to pop one video, it's popping. March, back to March here, look. Start of the real up, up climb, incline, upturn, right? So we're getting a few, we get, we're getting lots of good videos and that, and all these videos will have hit a little bit more since as well. So that's another sign that the biggest YouTubers now, his old videos will be hitting a bit as well. Um, so he's having these, he's having these, you know, 170,000 views, 760, 1 million, right? All of a sudden, three or four videos hit a million and your channel takes off. Now, I'm going to get to the first Rick Shields conspiracy. In May 2019, Rick did the first ever golf YouTube day where he got a lot of other golf YouTubers to come up and play his local golf course. I'm not sure if it's local or not. Um, and everybody said, oh, it's a master stroke. He's, he's got on everybody else's channels. And I do believe that is how to grow your business or your YouTube golf channel or any... You need to get on other people's channels and that will grow your channel. But the thing is, they all said Rick's channel was dying. So he did this golf day and that's what really kicked him off. So people who look at his stats now will say, oh, well, he were, he were doing useless. Or oh, he, was, he was treading water like maybe Mark Crossfield was up to that golf day. And that golf day, May 2019, um which will be, I'm not even sure he's got a video for it. He must have a video for it. May 29, what's in my bag 2019? So we're into 2019. Uh, it, certainly wasn't, it, was, it certainly wasn't on the list of his most popular videos, right? Uh, so if I just go here. YouTube golf day. Right. So it did get him on everybody else's channel, Rick Shields. Oh, here we go. First ever, got 294,000 views. Uh, first ever golf day on me and my golf, 70,000 on me and my golf. We know me and my golf is the number one at this point, number one golf channel, YouTube channel. Where were we? Got on Golf Mates channel. Uh, Seb on Golf was there. Random golf clubs. So uh, Eric Anders Lang turned up. So he did get his name on all these other channels, but most people knew James Robinson was there. So if we go back here, look, you know. Um, Mark Prosfield didn't turn up. Uh, to be fair, the other golf channels were not that 
pop here yeah, seven golfers there right seven golf but his channel's flatlining um golf mates was there golf mates is in there somewhere so the other channels he got on weren't that big anyway at the time so it was it was leveled that he did this golf day he got on everybody else's golf channel and that's what took his channel off so i'm putting that myth to bed now his channel was doing just fine without that golf day right so that we, so the golfing youtube world can stop going on about that right now we're going to keep going forward and keep growing and look how this is when it became number one golf youtuber and moved up into february is 743,000 he's now 130,000 above me and my golf the third channel mark crossfield that he started level with has not grown really anything clay ballard is on the charge a little bit but look the line graphs nowhere near danny maud is the biggest mover in golf youtube at this point and then garrett has had um a big surge in his channel gm golf but then he teams up with another golf youtuber and they try to call something called bro five which turns into a disaster so that's the flat line his channel's flatlined because he's he's stopped doing videos he's going to do a collaborative channel um with uh brody smith who i've actually taken off this list because he hasn't done a golf video for about eight months so he's seeing growth he's seeing growth through his videos through his million view videos here's a lot another one look 1.4 million views a year ago so in august playing golf with a one iron gets 1.4 million views right so we're seeing in august we're seeing them upturn rise and it's starting to level off again no great spike right but he's definitely the one golf youtuber who's growing at, at a crazy rate compared to everybody else so let's go into the second um conspiracy on rick shields channel and this happened in february and it started off the tongues wagging let's go down how many instagram followers so 400,000. so doing well on instagram doing well on tiktok doing well on facebook he has worked out the whole thing in my opinion quick drink of coffee so if we come down there's his million subscriber so it's a bit further on than that I've just seen the big tall guy. That reminds me of something else as well. That reminds me. So we come down. Come, oh, Christ. See how busy these people are? 1,800 videos. So this is about viral videos, but look how active they are on Twitter, on Instagram. All right, you might say, oh, he's got somebody else posting for him. Well, he might have now, but he didn't when he started. Um, active on TikTok, active on Facebook, massively active on YouTube. Uh, have I gone past it? Where are we? What's this? Octo, yeah, I've gone past it. Right. Let me pay attention. So, February 2020. Here we go. Here's the picture. Rick Shields goes to YouTube headquarters. Oh my God, he struck a deal with YouTube to do something because he's getting overpublished, he's getting overpushed. All YouTube recommendations are of Rick Shields' videos. He's gone to YouTube and he's he got a deal done. Now, did he have a deal done? Because if you go to his views, his monthly gain subscribers, you can see January, February, there's going to be a big jump. But that's going to be a part of this video, right? Now, I don't know if he, had a, if he did a deal or he didn't. I'm not, I don't think so at this point. But if you look here, right, monthly gain views, 17 million views, um in june nine million views in may right so nine million views golf youtubers get about seven dollars per thousand views right so we're gonna do we're gonna say nine million is nine thousand it was nine thousand seventy six right was it yeah nine seven six nine seven seven really nine seven seven times that so that's a thousand is uh, 9 million views is 9,076,000 views, right? So if you times that by seven, in May, uh, sorry, is that June? Yeah, May, Rick Shields was paid probably $63,000 a 
by YouTube. $63,000. Do his videos look like a, a YouTuber who's getting 70 grand a month on, you know, the longest ball, natural golf swing? There's not, to me, I would expect something stupid like, and this will actually come back to my final point as well. I fly to play the most expensive course in, in the world. I play golf in a private something. I, um, there's not something jumping out at me. The only reason I think there may be a deal, if there is a deal, I don't think there is a deal. If you look at the channel growth, I don't think there's a deal. But you could say, YouTube may say, we'll give you, what was it, 9,076. We'll give you $3 per thousand view, but we'll promote all your videos. Right? You're still making 27 grand a month. $3 per thousand views. And we'll promote everything so you'll get 10 times more views. I don't know. I don't know. It could have done, but the stats are showing that the growth was there anyway. The growth was going to continue. YouTube's going to promote a YouTube channel that is getting views, that just delivers on what it's supposed to be um, delivering, which is Golf YouTube, which is another point of YouTube. Rick Shields' videos are all about golf. Every single one is golf. It's not like my channel. Still, I'm still tiptoeing around stupid stuff. You know, I'm doing golf video, a golf-related video now on my tech training channel. Whereas all my videos, I've done the odd golf video when I've tried to do some life coaching nonsense. Um, done some interviews with other golf YouTubers. YouTube likes my channel to be a tech training channel. So when it recommends me, it recommends me on a search for something like Zoho, right? So CRM. YouTube wants to say, well, Paul Nicholson does loads of your videos. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, six. There's a few pretenders coming in now showing, you know, they're, they're dipping their water into Zoho. And I've dropped the Zoho ball. So I'm glad that I've done this video for my own benefit. That, you know, I've got Zoho videos, but I've done other things. And YouTube will start saying, why are you doing other things? You were, you were a Zoho expert you were getting loads of views and then you started fiddling around with other stuff now whether rick has fiddled around and then removed the videos that don't work maybe he just doesn't leave the videos up that don't work um, this video i'm going to come back to this video here look nearly a million views on that video he just does golf tech he basically does golf videos that are either in informational Tech, uh, golf tips or a little gimmicky um, novelty video old ball, new ball um, and I'm going to come to the, the next part we'll explain something else as well so well, let's go back to this right so has he done a deal with YouTube in February because he took a picture of being at YouTube headquarters we don't know the growth continues the growth continues to June and then we start seeing this upturn Right, and then in the next three months from June, this is the point of this video, the viral video, the viral view helps every channel. Look at all the other channels still. Steady growth, doing all right, you know, top speed's there. Uh, I think Danny Moore is about to go third or fourth in the list. Mark Crossfield's flatlined. We go to July, and we go from June 885,000 subscribers to July. A jump of 170 plus thousand subscribers. An almost 10% jump in subscriber rate. August, again, another 100,000. And then we finish with September, the latest stats we've got. Um, well, you've got another 40,000. So look, all of a sudden... Boom, the channel just dives absolutely out of the stratosphere, goes over a million subscribers, and he's over the hill and far away. So, well, let's go back to this, right? So, has he done a deal with YouTube in February because he took a picture of being at YouTube headquarters? We don't know. The growth continues. The growth continues to June, and then we start seeing this upturn, right? And then in the next three months... From June, 
This is the point of this video, the viral video, the viral view helps every channel. Look at all the other channels still. Steady growth, doing all right, you know, top speed's there. Uh, I think Danny Moore is about to go third or fourth in the list. Mark Crossfield's flatlined. We go to July and we go from June, 885,000 subscribers to July. A jump of 170 plus thousand subscribers. An almost 10% jump in subscriber rate. August, again, another 100,000. And then we finish with September, the latest stats we've got. Um, well, you got another 40,000. So look, all of a sudden, boom, the channel just dives absolutely out of the stratosphere, goes over a million subscribers, and he's over the hill and far away. So we know, we know Rick Jill's channel. 1,811 videos. But one video, even at that point, one video still kicks it on, still kicks it up a level. And there's also this, this what I want to show you. Um, let's go back to Rick's channel. He's not afraid to redo videos that he thinks will hit. And they may hit better, so your old ideas might be good. Right? I'm going to scroll down to... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to scroll down to here, world's tallest golfer. 156,000 views two years ago. 156, teen it up with the world's tallest golfer. Right? They're not so long back. I thought they were in the same column, but he may have just released. Here we go. Seven foot seven, 355 pound golfer hits miles long drive challenge. 985,000 views. It's probably relatively the same the same content, but he, did, he wasn't afraid to go, well, that didn't work then. Oh, it worked, it's got 185,000 views. But he went again and did it. I'm not sure the difference in the videos, but this time it got, no, this could have a million views, isn't it, in the next two days or so. It's gonna be another video. So now that one viral video, even though there's now been about 25 or 35 viral videos, now every video on the channel is gonna benefit from the virality of the video. But let's talk about YouTube wanting you to be pigeonholed. So YouTube wants you to be, what does this person do? Golf instructional videos, golf novelty videos, but people watch his videos. He doesn't create a video that has to be eight minutes long. I think fair play to him. If it needs to be five minutes, he'll get it over and done. If it's three minutes long, he's not dragging an eight minute video out to get extra adverts in the middle. He's doing his videos, he's done 1800 videos. I wanna keep saying it, 1800. So people watching this video might say, oh, well I need to do a viral video and that'll be, well, your channel might not be ready for a viral video. I've, I've, got, I've got one that's pretty much got me through lockdown. Um, if I look at my stats, in March, I created a Zoom video that got 100,000 views. It helps the channel growth but I needed 700 crap videos to get there, right? If we go to my channel, I had it open before, didn't I? Go to my channel, videos, what was popular? This Zoom video that I did six months ago has got 110,000 views. That, that boosted my channel to 10,000 subscribers, but there's 700 videos on my channel. So I, what I wanna keep coming back to is yes, you're gonna get a hit, Especially if you've done 1,800 videos, you're gonna learn the skill, you're gonna learn the trade, you're gonna understand being on other people's YouTube channels or, or getting other YouTubers on your channel. Look, there isn't a, there isn't a viral video and he's most popular, apart from Dude Perfect with a massive YouTube channel. Uh, he, isn't, he isn't getting other YouTubers on his channel. He's got Peter Finch, who's probably one of his best mates. He only, probably the only real other YouTuber that gets on his channel. Other than a few other guys that he started that have created their own channels but back of him. He isn't begging other YouTubers for viral videos. He isn't, he isn't creating crazy videos. He's creating what people will want to see. He's creating people views. You know, yesterday, 19 hours ago, 100,000 views. Two days ago. 
He knows he knows the YouTube game. He knows 48 hour winder on on quick videos, lifelong viral videos will make make your channel grow. Everybody knows the game. Rick Shields has has conquered the game uh, and looking at the stats now there is absolutely no way nobody anybody's catching him. The only person on the radar that may is GM Golf. He's the only one who sees these real big spikes. He's this was his bro 5 flatline and now he's coming back. Uh, let's go GM Golf, right? GM Golf, 350,000 subscribers. So how much is that up from here? So another 50,000, right? He's going to be in and amongst the top five. His videos, 68,000, 180,000. Three days ago, he's getting crazy, crazy views. The only other guy that is really working out this YouTube thing for golf is GM Golf, right? 1.8 million views a year ago. 1.1 million. So you can see that the difference in the two channels at the minute, GM's got, uh, Garrett's got three 1 million view videos. Right? That's probably, he looked three, all three a year ago. Rick Shields has got 35 million. 1 million views. 35 viral views, three. But this guy's going to be on the up. And chasing him down. Whether he'll catch him, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what YouTube decides between the two. Are they both going to be the, the, the go-to golf YouTube channels or not? But YouTube wants to... Wants to um, say there's a brand new golfer. I don't know if I've got a channel. Look at my failed channels. Uh, let's go to this one. I've never used this channel, right? YouTube wants to recommend... The first time golfer who's coming in, who's he going to recommend? Which channels they're going to recommend? Who's going to get the the learner golf YouTuber to stay on YouTube to watch golf YouTubers? And they're going to recommend Rick Shields, number one. This is an advert. So Tor Strike, Scratch Golf Academy, who was on the move at the minute as well, I think. Yeah, Scratch. Where is he? I think he's one of these. Um... But that's because it's probably running adverts, right? Oh, it didn't do this before. It just showed me the individual. I'm pretty sure Scratch is one of them. Or maybe he's not. Um, YouTube's just wanting to recommend golf YouTubers they trust, golf YouTubers that people go and watch a lot of in, in hours. You know, um, golf YouTubers that they're not going to surprise or offend or... Uh, you're going to get any reports or any people complaining about him. To be fair, and again, I've done a video on my channel. Where is it? Um, where I said is, I went back in February, I think. Uh, let's go. And I said, I don't know if it's public or not. I turned it off because I, you know, I, I'm having to learn Golf Future. Why is it not going any further? Is Rick Shields overly pushed on YouTube. Here, look. Is Rick Shields' channel overly promoted? And according to this, it's not really giving me... It's not giving me every Rick Shields video, has it? It hasn't just promoted. is isn't one, two, that's his second. But it's a pretty much a fair... It's a fair cop between another Rick Shields, another, another, uh, another. So it is the most promoted, but it's the biggest golf YouTube channel. And YouTube know... We know what we're going to get with Rick Shields. We know people are going to go and watch it. We know we're going to stay around for a while. And so what I'm saying is YouTube pigeonhole because they want to know what your channel is, what you do. And no matter what you've done, coming back to the start of the video, where if you go to my, that I've been browsing, model cars racing, uh, marble racing. Oh, it's on a different channel now, right? Let me go back to my channel. If th there's a niche for everybody, yeah, Hot Wheels wrote 31 million views. Guy's got a Hot Wheels track in his back garden. <laughs> there's views for you all, but it might take 1800 videos to get to one viral. That is the thing. Create, keep creating your niche products. So 
if you're looking at getting into a YouTube channel, doing YouTube, there's certain niches that always do well online, in online sales. Um, helping people to get paid. So if you're a business type channel like mine, information, technology, learning, how to make people get paid, better business, get a better job, um, earn more money, right? So get paid. If you've got a channel that helps people get paid, you can do all right. If you've got a channel that helps people get laid, so health and beauty, um, kind of, you know, the self-help sort of industry, the, 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 the part that's going to make you better, the, you're, you're going to do, um, you know, the Tony Robbins of this world. Stay alive longer. The third type, stay alive longer. The fitness channels, those sort of things help people but look better, feel better, stay alive longer. Those do well. Uh, health and fitness. And then, and then hobbies. Channels with, with uh, expensive hobbies. Hobbies where you spend more than $2,000 a year on your hobby. Golf being a perfect example. People spending money on Hot Wheels cars. Crazy as it seems, they may spend more than 2000 a, a year on that hobby. So if you do a hobby channel like golf, but you just stick to that thing, just stick to golf, do enough videos, you're going to get something viral eventually because you'll work out the trade, the skill. It's like playing golf. Eventually you'll work out how to do it or you won't and you'll quit and you just crap it out, right? But if you do a, a, a fitness channel that helps people to make money, helps people get laid as well, um, you're going to double win, you double crush. So there's room in YouTube for everybody. There's room in YouTube for more and more golf YouTubers, even though absolutely Rick Shields and congratulations to him as he's completed YouTube, basically. 1.3 million subscribers. Uh, and he is, you know, he's... he's it's basically lapped the field, ain't he, in subscribers. There's only one other YouTube channel even touching him with a glove at a minute. Everybody else is 800,000 behind. There's still room for golf YouTubers. There's still good room, but you may have, it's going to take time. The old point of this video, and this video is now 30 odd minutes long, I didn't mean it to be. Um, 1,800 videos, 1,800 videos, of which 35 are over a million views. Over the hill and far away, but he has put the work in and congratulations to him. There has been, I don't think, any conspiracy here. Back to May, what he did a golf YouTube day and you, did, you thought that grew his channel. His channel was already flying when he did that YouTube channel day. February, went to see Google. You're damn right, Google probably called him in. You're flying, you're, num you're the number one. Was there any deal? Who knows? Doesn't look like it to me. Congratulations again. But if you're doing your own YouTube channel, stick Try to stick to your niche. Try to stick to what you want. In the beginning, you can play around. But then once you grow, stick to what you're going to be. I hope this helped. I hope it was interesting. Probably the last time I do any YouTube video because I've got to get back to what actually works on my channel. Thanks for watching. Comment below um, if you agree with me, disagree with me. Any questions that I can answer that I've seen from the stats. Fascinated by what grows, what wins, what doesn't. Rick Shields winning 100%. See you soon.